What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com and in the last Dynasty video we finished up the regular season by taking on Troy. Whoever won that game was going to win the conference and it was a doozy. We ended up winning by a field goal. Troy played pretty decent on offense and we had a couple turnovers to keep him in it but thankfully we was able to pull out the victory. We won the Sun Belt two years in a row. We're 10-2 and two, and today we're going to play our bowl game we just don't know who we're going to play. We're going to find out together. Now, before we get into that, I want to talk about a couple of things. You know, for the past several uh, games, videos for this particular dynasty, I've talked about how I'm probably going to end this dynasty after this season. But I've changed my mind. You know, my previous video, I talked about CPU offenses between 06 and 07. I think this is the perfect opportunity for me to use this dynasty to tinker more with some sliders and such because I think there's a good enough stuff in 07 worth me playing and spending time on so that's what i'm going to do so after this video my next dynasty video we're going to go right into the off season for this one before we move over to my 06 hawaii dynasty so this dynasty will not go away and again i think this is to be a good time for me to fool with some things and hopefully uh, i'll be pleased with the end result in terms of slider changes and such which that's what we're going to get to now i want to show you i made two small changes and we'll just go from there. Uh, the two changes I made, if you go to the CPU offense, I increased pass blocking from 50 to 65. And I increased run blocking from 50 to 65. I think that should help uh, the CPU offense greatly. That was my biggest conclusion from the previous video that I made. Was I think if you fix a little bit of the offensive line play, pass blocking, run blocking, I think it'll help them out a little bit. So we'll see what happens with that. But those are the only two changes I've made. So I wanted you to be aware of those changes. So let's go back. And there's really nothing to see at this point except we need to simulate week four, week 14. We'll do that. We'll do this really quick. Again, I wanted you to see this quote unquote in real time. Let this go by pretty quickly. And there we are. We won the Sunbelt Championship. And this is the conference championship week. And we can go ahead and simulate this as well. This won't take as long. There's only a handful of games. Then we're going to find out who we're going to go up against in a bowl. Hopefully, a Chicola will win the tight end award. And there it is. Chicola is the tight end of the year. Well deserved. It's been a long time since I've been able to win that award. But it's cool to see that I was able to do that. And that's technically the first time I've ever done that in this game. And it looks like we will be playing... Toledo in the Emerald Bowl. I think that's pretty cool because at least it's a bowl game It's been so long that I've ever played in I can't remember if I've ever played in this bowl to be honest I'm sure I have at one point, but at least we're not playing up in Detroit like we done last season. I wanted a different venue and Oddly enough, I figured we would go play uh, the, Whoever the MAC champion was up in Detroit, but let's like we're not going to we're heading to the Emerald Bowl in San Francisco So that's pretty cool now Toledo Looks like Arian Foster won the Heisman Trophy, the first one ever for Tennessee. What we're going to do is I want to check out Toledo's stats here. They are 9-3 on a two-game winning streak. They're having a really good season. They got the same amount of talent we do. They, their offense is really solid, it appears. It seems like they like to throw the ball a little bit. And they're just having a decent season in general. Now, I want to check the little scouting report. They are a spread team. 50-50, so it just kind of depends on, you know, where their talent lies. And they run a 3-4 defense. It's been a while since we went up against an odd front. So that's what we're going to face today. So let's go to recruiting. Now, again, because I have decided to continue this dynasty, we got to pay attention a little bit more to this because our next video will be the off-season video. But let's look at recruiting. This matters now some more because these guys will be playing for us next season. We're done with recruiting. We ended up getting a whole lot more in regular season than I expected. And most of these guys committed without even coming for a visit, which I think is a cool little feature in this game. But Travis Moss, the cornerback, uh, we can back out of here. Uh, a halfback, Damian Cumbie, that's a good pickup for us. He fits our offense perfectly. We picked up a couple wide receivers, Lawrence Craig and Drew Barnes. We needed help there, both big guys. We do need help at tight end. If for whatever reason we can't get help there, we may move Craig down low 
eventually. But if we, if I can't find a tight end elsewhere, picked up a left tackle and we picked up a middle linebacker, Victor Dowdell. And if you look at our team overview, we got 49 players coming back. We got six committed. That means that is 55, which means we got another 15 spots to play with in the off season. So recruiting in the off season, the next video should be a lot of fun. That's plenty of spots for us to fill up because we are depleted. We got a lot of guys leaving this year and I want to fill up and get close to 70 as close as I can as possible. So that's going to be a whole lot of fun, but that's for the next video. Let's go to ESPN, the magazine. We'll check out some things. BCS rankings. Tennessee looks like we'll take on West Virginia. That'd be a pretty cool matchup there. Let's go to award winners. Again, we've already won an award. We got the tight end award, but I was curious to see, you know, there's uh, Steven Jacola looking at his number, 64 receptions, almost 900 yards and 10 touchdowns. Just a great season for him. We've really focused our offense, or at least our passing game around him. And you look at the guys behind him, they didn't even come close. I mean, he just had an amazing season at tight end. I want to go to Coach Award to see how close we were. We finished third, so that tells you, even though they make their finalist list a few uh, you know weeks before the end of the season, doesn't mean you can't sneak back in. And that's what happened here. We snuck in to the third spot. A lot of that had to do with the Miami win. But it looks like Arkansas State's coach won that. I don't know who the coach was at that time, 2007. Uh, that could have been, that wasn't Gus Malzahn, that was a couple years later. I don't know who was their coach then, but anyway, cool to see that, and it looks like Phil Former almost won it. Let's go to the All-American list, see if we have anybody there. And of course, Jacola made it, first team All-American, tight end, the best one in the country. Looks like Tennessee had a bunch of guys on their, on this list. That would be the only All-American we'd have on our list, I would imagine. I don't remember any other player just having an amazing season. We can look at the freshmen. I doubt we'd have anybody on here. I don't know of any freshmen that played much this year for us, to be honest. Just looking there, I don't see it there. So let's go to the Sun Belt and see who made that list. Suber's a first-teamer. Good to see that. He ended up with almost 1,400 yards of total offense. That's a typical West Coast stat line for a halfback. Bobby Williams, good to see him on there. 48 receptions, almost 800 yards and six touchdowns. And of course, Jacola's on there. Defensive end, Bosley. I, that doesn't surprise me. He had the 12 sacks, 19 tackles for loss. That seems like a whole lot. Hopefully, the couple adjustments I've made will help a little bit. Of course, that didn't really affect our defense. That may be something I can work on down the road. Uh, but we didn't have a real uh, bruiser of a defensive end last season. We just happened to have a guy who was an impact guy who ended up just playing really well. But look at this. Arkansas State's got a ton of guys on here. Just a ton. Hofacker made the list. He's a junior. He's coming back. And one thing I de need to pay attention to is Mosley's gone. Jacola is gone. Bobby Williams is coming back, which is good. At least he should. And Suber's just a junior. So next year, we got some skilled players that are really going to help us out. Our, we got the first team kicker. Now, a lot of that has to do, I think, with the extra points. But... I just now realized this. We had eight field goals this year. That seems like a lot. I normally don't kick a lot of field goals. I don't have to. But that's pretty cool to see. And top returner, Taron Henry, our number two wide receiver, ended up with, look at that, almost 1,300 all-purpose yards and only four total touchdowns. Had a good season. That's really cool to see. I'm glad I was able to make use of him. We'll look at the second team. Joe Craddock made the second team. Almost 3,000 yards, 28 touchdowns. So the first teamer was the guy from Troy. He had 30 touchdowns. That's why I've told you in 06, I guess it's no different in 07, touchdowns are a big deal with these lists, these awards and such. That guy just had a few more touchdowns. And if you notice, we actually had more yards than he did. But this guy also ran the ball for 400 yards. So he had a pretty good season. So I can see why we were second uh, team with Craddock. That's good to see. Unfortunately, he's not playing today. He's out. He got hurt pretty badly in the last game. That's going to affect our bowl game today. Brandon Nix, senior uh, left guard. Good to see him on there. And uh, another returner. We got two returners. Interesting. I don't think I've ever done that before. Regardless of conference, have two returners make the first and second team all-conference list. That's pretty cool to see that. 
He may have ended up with one or two returns for a touchdown. Either way, that's pretty neat to see. So that is it for that. What we can do is go to conference standings. Go to conference standings, and let's check out our team info screen. Craddock is out. Unfortunately, uh, I forgot who our backup is. He's going to be playing today. But Suber, Jacola, and you know everybody on the defensive side that have been doing the same thing all year. It's been pretty consistent for us. Looks like we're 17th in the country. And we are taking on Toledo. Now, if I'm not mistaken, didn't we already play Toledo? Did we play them last year? I don't remember. Uh, let's go to the east. I think they're, no, maybe they're in the west. There they are. Uh, they won their conference, apparently. They got a tackle out. Just looking at their numbers, looks like they got a running back putting up good numbers per game, at least on their yards. Defensively, just one person doing one thing, another person doing another. So, okay, should be interesting to see. I can't wait to get started. I think there's nothing else for us to see, so let's get right into the game. I'll speed this up a little bit. And what I'm going to do for the the off-season video that's coming up, I will be probably going live for that one. I think that's a very good uh, type of video to do live stream on because I'm not I'm not on the clock. I can take my time with it. Recruiting, we can recruit together. That type of thing. So I think that'd be pretty cool. They got a running back averaging. Uh, he's got almost 1,400 yards rushing today, or for now. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at that. That's a cool-looking stadium. Interesting. Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler here with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit bringing you today's exciting matchup. I have never played in that stadium before. The players will have huh. to battle cold temperatures in the game tonight between the Middle Tennessee... Perfect weather, technically. I don't think it's going to affect much. We've got a great ah, that's pretty neat. For you here. This one looks to be an incredible... That doesn't look like a real stadium. It looks like a fake one somebody <laughs> made. I don't know. Let's see who they're going to highlight. Probably, they're going to highlight Super. I wish they'd highlight Chicola at the beginning, but I guess they don't do that for tight ends. Hopefully he has a good game today. And they're picking us. We go to coin toss. We won it. I want the ball to start a second half. I should have went with my all-white uniforms to contrast theirs. Let's check out their roster. Cochran, an 80 overall. He can't run. Hopefully he stays in the game so we can blitz him some today because his backup can really run the ball. Impact running back. So I'm guessing everything's going to go through this guy. And he's got a decent backup to boot. A really good fullback, even though he's 82 speed. He can, he, he can catch. That's just a really good fullback. Uh, wide receivers, 84, 82, 82, 80, 78. And how is this guy an impact player? That, that makes no sense whatsoever. Their fifth best wide receiver is the impact guy. That's whatever. Okay. Tight end looked pretty good there. John Allen, 78 speed, 80 on the catch. Pretty good. They got some skill players. 94 left tackle, 89, 76, 80, and 74. This guy's out, so the backup is the backup left tackle as well. So technically, they got better with an injury, apparently. So they, they their offensive in general looks really strong across the board. They run a 3-4, so 82 and 82 on the ends. Not bad. A 76 here at defensive tackle. 82, 78, and 78 at the middle linebacker positions, and 80 at right outside linebacker. Just a solid front seven from what I can tell for their conference at least. Decent corners, 85 and 84. A really good free safety impact guy at 88. And a 78 for this guy right here, so we may be able to tag him some today. Average kicker, blow average punter. I think I've seen enough. Okay, let's get into it. I'm curious to see how those slider adjustments will affect things. We're going to kick it over here. That's going to go straight on. I didn't kick it right. That's going to go to their impact guy, too. This is their running back. Get a stop there. I am... Uh, let's just... Do quarters for now. Well, guys, I talked to the offensive coordinator this morning, and he said 
I think they're going to be pretty balanced today. But they got an impact running back who's a real stud, so maybe they're going to... Uh-oh. Somebody get him. It's a good run, good start for them, even though that guy can't run the ball. Let's do a zone blitz. Taking a chance on this one. Going with the toss. Ah, dang it. I over-pursued on it. So they went with that typical quarterback halfback pass thing. Let's go with a one high. I think they're going to run it here. I'm going to flip it. That way I can get somebody in the middle of the field. Well, pick up a first down there. I predicted the run. That's what they've done. Uh, let's. I'm going to go back to that zone blitz again. Interesting. They're going to do that. I'm going to go here in the A gap. Good defense there. I knew what I'd done here. You see me right here. I knew I couldn't get to the quarterback at this point. I just, there was no chance, and I was blitzing. So I, what I done, I just backed up in the coverage. I found the closest guy to me, and that's the guy who he threw to. Second and ten, let's, mm, let's do a quarters. They'd probably go to a run play here if I had to guess. Make good decisions here. They're going to pass. Oh, he's wide open. No, I think it. Flag. I wonder whether that's on. For holding. We'll, we'll, hmm, let's see where that's at. Second and 20. Yeah, we'll definitely go second and 20. We're going to go back and look at this play. I, I goofed up here. I'm supposed to be covering this entire side right here, and I chose not to. I saw nobody over here. I'm like, well, there's nobody to defend. But look what happened. They done a delayed route with this guy with a halfback. So that's a good play call. Confused me. So, second and 20. Right, I'm going to go over and we'll do another quarters. We can get him in a third and long. That'd be excellent. That's a good play there. Picked up those 10 yards back. So, it's third and 10. We are going to go nickel, probably just cover three. Let's see if we can make a play here. Ah, couldn't get to him. All day to throw, too. Good throw. Pick up another first down. They're moving the ball on us. We rushed four. Nobody could get to the quarterback. Uh, we'll go back. Let's do an under front. We'll do a one high. A good stop there. Second and ten. Or, oh, he picked up three yards somehow on that one. Okay, I'm going to try to go. We're going to try to do another zone blitz. we got to get to this guy eventually. I'll try to get to him myself. It's a good play call. That's what you do. You run to the opposite side. So, perfect play call against that defense. Now it's got to force me to go back to a one high. Now, I've in the past, I've noticed that CPU teams team to, seem to do a little bit better in bowl games than they do like during the season. So it wouldn't shock me if they put up decent numbers today. But I'm also hoping those sliders helped a little bit. Interception. Oh, that's a huge play right there. Oh, wow. We'll take it. I want to see if they were going to show her instant replay. He just got in front of it. The went play action. Oh, that's a big play right there. So where are we? We are on the, we're on the eight. I probably need to get out of my end zone a little bit. Let me make my one adjustment there. We'll go tight end corner. 
we're going to try to get the ball out. Looks like they're keeping it pretty standard. Here. Almost got sacked. Somebody came through. Oh, they blitz. But this guy by fullback, I don't know what he's doing here. I, don't, I just... Uh, mm. That kills me when I see that. Absolutely kills me. So a second and 11. Maybe I need to make those adjustments on my hand for, for the human sliders. All right, they're going zone. Ugh, I kind of want a second and 11. We probably need a... I'm going to throw it. That's probably in our best interest, too. Good pick up there. We still need a second and three. I may go back to that same play. I'm just trying to think of a very simple way to get the ball out quick. I would run the ball, but I don't trust our run game. They're going man, so hopefully we can get protection here. Dang it! Very lucky on that play. Get a block right there. Get a block right there. Somebody came through again. You look right here. That's cross block action. That's awesome. They stunted. And my offensive line actually looked like they was trying to block him. He just couldn't. He blocked him just enough. Ah, what a play. So let's go to the run game. It's time. They're going... You gotta change your defense late. Right They're going three four. Let's do a halfback dive. Let's see if we can go up to gut on them. We're going zone. Let's see if we can go right up the gut here. Nope. Jump the snap, killed me. My right guard just got annihilated and it just blew up the whole thing. So now we got no choice but the pass. On the left hash. Uh let's go. Let's go slants. They're going man here. Let's see. We'll go to the tight end. Oh, and a fumble. Pick it up. So, we will accept that. We don't think we got enough yards. Thankfully, I got him jumping early. Yes, we'll go second and seven. We'll stay on the left hash. We'll run the same similar thing we have been. We'll go quick slants. Now they're going zone here, but Middle Tennessee State comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. They'll throw again defense. I dropped it. Williams was the intended receiver. He just dropped it. So it's third and long. We're gonna go deep comeback. Uh they're going zone? That kind of looked weird. No, they're going man. I'm going to do that. Terrible throw. I swear. Awful throw. We got to punt it. He just threw it way off. I done a curl. I thought that was a little safer. You know, and I didn't need the 12 yards. I just needed like eight. Um, That's disappointing. I got to remind myself our backup quarterbacks in here. Well, we'll get back on defense. Oh, that's disappointing. Man, that was an awful throw. I'm going to take a chance on a zone blitz. This hasn't worked for us yet. The one draw. Just another good play call. Another flag. That may be another holding. Clipping. We'll take it. First and 18. They're going with a big set here. We'll go back to 46. We'll flip that. I think I'll leave that as is. Counter. It's a good stop there. So it's second and what, 16 maybe? Second and 14. Got more yards there than I expected. We'll go back to quarters. Back to ace normal they go. Good stop there. Huge hole though. Good blocking by the offensive line, but I was sitting right there on it right between them. But look at that. If I wasn't there, that could have been bad. Third and ten. We'll go back. 
to cover three. They beat it last time. I couldn't get to him in time. No big deal, though. That was a good hack on the open field. We are going to force a punch. 0-0, zero, zero, end of the quarter. Neither offense can really get going, per se. Now, they their first drive, they went right down the field, but we picked them off. Let's see if we can do something here. We're going to go back to the run game. We need to get something going there. They're going 3-4, but we're going to try some outside stuff, too, because, unfortunately, Super just isn't built to run up the middle. We're going, they're doing the exact same thing, 3-4 zone. Uh, we can go... Let's go that way. Wow, just terrible. Get a block right there. Dang it! Jump the snap. Killed me again. Left tackle. Got annihilated. And it, so now it's third and, or second and forever. Second and 17. Ah, just a terrible play. Going zone here. I don't think I got him off. Third and 17, we'll call the same thing. We'll do it from a different formation. Going zone. Running a different type of 3-4. Can't really tell about that. And I goofed up. Nope, good throw. I didn't get the first, though. Dang it. Um, fourth and three. Ended up being a... I forgot to do the first down hot route thing. Oh, man. Let's just punt it. Dang it. I should have done the uh, the smart route. That's what I mean. And I didn't do that. Somebody make a good clean tackle here. So our offense just can't get going. Our run game is atrocious. They just... It's a jump the snap situation every single time. So I don't know if that means I have to throw it going forward the rest of the way. Sure feels like I have to. Curl route. Pick up about six, seven yards there. About five. Looks like they're going with a bigger set, so we'll do the same. You gotta be kidding. You gotta be kidding. What do you do? Alright, well, let's try another zone blitz. I still can't get to the quarterback yet. Every time I call this, they run to the opposite side. Dang it, they... Where? He's gone. Six points. Well, I asked for it. I wanted the off CPU offense to do better. Well, they're doing better. So I got to get away from the zone from the zone blitz, and it's not working. They call perfect plays every time I call it. I'm, I hate that we can't run the ball at all today. It just every play, every time we've called it, somebody gets blasted up front, and it just destroys the play. But I still got to sprinkle it in every so often. So we'll get back on offense, see if we can tie this thing. Somebody get a block. Nobody blocked that guy. Okay, let's try. X dig Z whip. Going zone. I think he... That's rare for that to happen on us. Now it's first and 15. Dang it, I feel like i got to go back to... Just not playing well. I don't know what to do about it other than keep playing. Going zone here. Just nothing. 
Second and 12. We'll stay here. I, I'm not going to run the ball. That's going to be a waste. We'll go back to deep comeback. Going zone. I may leave that protection as is. Intercepted. Just terrible throw. Awful, awful throw. Just awful, awful. Well, go back and look at this. Where's he throwing to? Who's he throwing to? I don't. I mean, who's he going to? Did he get hit as soon as he threw it? Not. Whatever. So I don't know. I, looks like we're going to lose the day. It's just not meant to be. Just nothing is going right. So, and they got all the momentum in the world, and we're starting to feel that. So we'll see if we can overcome this. But we can't run the ball, and our backup quarterback can't throw. So I don't know what else to do except try to throw short and somebody can break a tackle or something because we can't throw deep. Good little run there for Bobby Williams. Let's go back to curl flat. Going man. They're bringing everybody. Dang it. Another... Awful throw! Oh my gosh! I had to, I mean, they were blitzing. Somebody came through. Perfect defense. Just, I had to throw it. No choice. Well, that's it. So we'll just try to get through this game as best we can. We'll get out of here. And... Just an awful day. Their quarterback who can't run the ball is gaining like six yard chunks every time. I don't get it. Maybe it's because those changes I made in the sliders, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I screwed myself over by ch changing those sliders. I don't Unfortunately, our offense can't do anything. That's our biggest worry right now. Oh, he's they're just making plays, I swear. If they beat us by 40, then I might have to readjust my sliders again because this is getting kind of crazy. They're like equal amount of town as we are, and it's like it's not making a difference. They're just playing perfect football. What can I say? And there's nothing I can do about it. I, it, it doesn't matter. They're just making plays. And we can't. I mean, half's about over with. And we just, all of a sudden, we can't literally do anything. Look at this. Look at this! I'm playing 06. It's just like now he's just playing out of his mind. So now I'm starting to rethink if I messed up on those sliders. Did I go too high on them? Because now, I mean, they're just making every play possible. I have no faith in our offense. We can't do anything. We literally can't do anything. Our backup quarterback can't make plays. If we don't have anybody else to put in, it'd be stupid to red take a red shirt off somebody. But he's playing bad. That's what happens when you don't have a backfield. Super, I wish could get going, but he can't. Offensive line ain't helping him out. All right, let's try. Let's do a toss play. Let's see how bad this goes. Going zone. Get a block there. Finally, a positive play. Something. We can go back here. Curl flat. Zone. We're not going to get much out of this one. That's my fault. That's my fault, and the game is over. We're fixing to get beat by 80. So, I'm just going to just run clock and end this thing as best I can. 
because it's just not meant to be. <laughs> it's just a, the worst disasters game ever. He just, I mean, look, I'm not going to go back. There's no point. I'll just get upset. Watch him run to the right here. And he still got out of that. What's going on? They're making perfect plays. Is it the momentum meter? If that's the case, then I'm going to get real upset. Then I'll, I'll, I'll wonder why I'm playing this game. It's perfect plays. And I, I maybe it's the momentum meter. If I, if I lose by 60 or 40, then I'm going to blame the momentum meter. The Rockets come out showing three wide. Finally, a positive play. Just awful. Nothing's gone right today. I mean, absolutely nothing. Ah, you got to be kidding. He still makes the catch. Third and five. I have zero faith in us stopping him right here. I really do. I'm going to do a one high, though. I, I can see him maybe running it. Thankfully, that was a terrible throw. Well, they'll kick a field goal, but like it matters. I mean, we're getting annihilated. So I don't know what to do offensively. I mean, just nothing has gone right. We probably maybe have 40 yards of total offense. I don't think we've gone past midfield yet. And I didn't even adjust CPU offense or defensive sliders. You got to be kidding. It's all oh, that burns me alive. I'm about to throw something. It's momentum meter. I'm starting to believe it's the momentum meter. If that's the case, and I'm really not looking forward to playing more of 07. I hate to be that abrupt and change my mind on something. But this is getting kind of goofy. It's just like all of a sudden we're playing against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And everything is going so perfectly for him. Here comes the run to the left. Told you. Still picks up several yards. I'd... Let's just go. It don't matter at this point. So I think I'm going to quit on this game. I'm just going to second half. I'm just going to run clock as best I can. Problem is we can't even get first downs. It'll, yeah, go goal line against Ace Normal, and they still get in with ease. So I'm now starting to rethink about doing that off-season video. It's like this is getting really stupid. It's all or nothing with these games. I don't understand it. All or nothing. And I I don't know. It's the momentum meter, maybe. And if that's the case, then that's a, it's just a dumb feature. It, uh, a feature like that should not affect the game. I mean... But whatever. I know I'm probably, to some people, consider complaining. But, I mean, what do you want me to do? I, we've been playing amazing football all year. Now, all of a sudden, we can't do anything all of a sudden. You know. Forty-five sick. And, of course, our wide receivers hurt because that's just what happens. Nothing, hap nothing good happens today. Not a one thing. I'm going to run the ball and just run out clock. I mean, there's nothing else for me to do. I just... I'm, I'm starting to lose faith in this game. I really am. It, it shouldn't be this obvious. This out of, It shouldn't get this out of hand like this. We'll go counter. I kind of hope they beat me by 60 now, just to, just so I don't may have to potentially waste my time on a game like this. And that kills me. I spent all that time working on that previous video, and now we can't. And now we, I mean, I gave it all the faith in the world in that previous video. Now it's, it's going against me, and it sinks. Going man here. I didn't even see. Is, is he out for the rest of the game? 
out for the game. Of course, he, it just it is what it is. Okay. Thank God somebody came through. Perfect blitz. Another jump to snap up there as well. Let's just run the ball. I'm just going to run it. Let's go. I mean, what's the point of me trying to do something here? We're not going to convert. I just just go to half. Like I said, I'm going to just try to end this thing as quickly as possible, not get annihilated. Man, I was actually looking forward to trying to work on 07. Now I, I, I kind of don't want to because of this stupidity. Let's go to stats and scores. Look at this. Well, look, the offense is playing a whole lot better. I mean, I those sliders must have worked. But now, for whatever reason, our offense can't do squat. Absolutely nothing. Our offensive line can't block a thing. And I know I got a backup quarterback in there. And he's 5 for 12. And I... Th Turnover, it just... Let's just keep going. Just, well, I don't know. I'll try not to be as evil or as upset as I can, but it's kind of hard at this point. Right down the middle again. At least there's not a, a, a ton of fumbles. That would really upset me if there were. Thankfully, there isn't. Otherwise, I'd probably have quit the game already. <laughs> I would have really lost my cool on that. So they're going with that. I don't know. This ain't going to work. Look at this. Did you know? I mean, look at this. Go back and look at this. How many people got destroyed? One? I mean, how do you have a chance with any of that? I don't... And let me tell you, Second and ten. We're going to run clock because the game's already over with. So I'm going to just... I'm not going to try to make a game of this. There's no point. And I don't know what they're doing here. I'm going to run as much... I'm, I'm, I'm giving up. I'm, I'm waving the white flag. This game is not meant for me to win today. Left tackle got annihilated. Another jump to snap. Third and three. I don't know. Tight end corner. We're going man. This play has... We've struggled to make this work. We've been very fortunate. That we haven't got hit. Before I forgot to throw it. And this is like one of the quickest passes you can throw in this game. And it's still they're getting to us. Offensive line has just been awful. Wide open. Yeah! I'm about to lose it! Gosh! That's why I call that play, because it has potential to get a big gain. and Can't help it if the running back don't even go back and look at it. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Hawking fields it at the 27. Let's go play some defense. Ah, just so disappointing. Look at, okay, so I'm thinking I jump, I, I increased those sliders a little too much. Look at this blocking right here. Everybody got a push. Every single person got a push. So that's 65%. Probably a little too much on the run blocking. That's probably another reason why we can't get to the quarterback. Because I bumped that up too much as well. I guarantee that's what that is. I'm not going to change it during the game. Some people consider that cheating. So I'm not going to do that. We'll go under front. We'll do another one high. They'll line up at the 35. It's second down and about three yards. I just kind of went with my gut and say, hey, let's go up to 65 on those two. Well, apparently that was a little too much. First down. Look at this. Look, look at the push on ever, from everybody. Look at this. Okay, so, yeah, okay. I am switching them up right now. Look at this. That should not happen. Everybody got a push. Everybody. So what we're going to do, I'm going back. I don't, I'm doing it. I don't care. People can get on to me if I do this. I don't, it doesn't bother me. We're going to go to CPU. We're going to go back. Let's do... 55. If 
for both. Let's do that. 65 is too much. That is obvious. If you can't disagree with, if you can't agree with me on that, because of, look at that. Everybody got a push. That's going to be my thumbnail right there. Okay. First and 10. I didn't think 15% would be that big of a deal. Apparently it is. Still picks up solid yards there. I'm going to... Uh, let's do a zone blitz. They'll probably keep running it though, so I'm probably making a mistake here. Wide open. Somebody bl it just, I don't, whatever. They're just playing perfect football. That's all it is. I, I, it just kills me. Two teams that are equally matched talent-wise are playing two complete opposite games, and it's not even close. Good throw there. It just, every play. 10 of 13. Imagine what it would be like if he didn't throw that interception earlier. We'd be down 35 to nothing. Wide open. I'd, I had to cover one of them. I can't cover both. Go back to one high because it doesn't matter at this point. Are they going to run it or throw it? Halfback draw from the gun, and of course it works perfectly. I ah! I just momentum meter. I'm starting to believe that momentum meter really affects this game. It's it was a brand new feature added, and every time he adds a new feature, they overcook it. And I'm starting to really believe that's what the case is here. Maybe that's what's caused me to win a bunch of games in these couple seasons. Let's keep going. Let's see if I get beat by 50. I'm hoping they put up a couple more touchdowns. Let's see. We still haven't got past midfield yet. Then now's a good time for me to call new plays because I've already stopped caring about this game at this point. Let's see if McNair can do something here. Let's go. Let's do a pass play. Let's go this. Let's, let's do wide receiver screen. We're going zone. I probably need to run up the middle here. Just pick up some yards. Let's try. Curl halfback swing. Or go in zone. I hope my halfback can get over there in time. Wow. Look at this. Look at the. Uh, look at my. What's my fullback doing? He's trying and he just. I, I just. I don't know. I didn't scoot up. That's half my problem. But it still that just looks goofy. Momentum, baby. You gotta love it. Let's go back to deep comeback. They're going zoom. Terrible throw. I swear, awful throw. Awful. I hope they score again. I hope they put up another one on us. I think they will. The way it's going. I, I just don't understand. We just were played such good football all year now, so we literally can't do anything. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Hawkins takes it at the 33. 
So their last drive resulted in six points. So how many people on YouTube are willing to put up a a, a game like this to get annihilated with a team that finished the season ten and two yet are going to fix are going to get beat fifty six to nothing? I must be crazy to do this, but I just you got to. We'll try a zone blitz again. I haven't been able to get to him all day. Toledo comes out of the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Perfect blocking. Pick up six yards there. Five. We'll do cover three. There, there he goes. There he goes. Wow. He is averaging 12 yards a carry. Good for him. I hope he keeps doing it. I didn't even touch one defensive slider. Now it's just like, look at this. Look at this. They're just breaking tackles left and right now. I know the two sliders I did adjust technically affects my defense in a sense, but. Thankfully overthrew it. Go quarters. Now we got some kid in here I've never even heard of before. Ah, look at this. He's just playing like Herschel Walker out there right now. 183 yards. I'm keeping my first string out there. I'm going to make him pay for just playing so bad today. Look at this. Please kick a field goal. Stop making it look so bad on us. I need to go try to call some different plays now. Just, I'm going to pick a different... Well, if I, uh, if I go into the next, the third season with this dynasty, I'm going to use a different playbook. I'll go with somebody. I don't know. That's a long ways away because we're going back to the Hawaii dynasty right after this one. Now I look like a fool for creating that video Friday. Giving 07 some love now, all of a sudden it's just like, eh, just... Let's go ex post. I don't call this enough. Going man. Hannon, he's our third stringer or third best receiver, I should say. Curl flat. Again, they're going zone. You better get to this quarterback. Otherwise, he'll make you pay. The Blue Raiders are lining up with three receivers. Johnson steps back to pass. Shorts off. And my bet the best tight end in the country. This is this sums up the entire game. Perfect throw. One of the best throws he's made today. And it's is that the momentum meter? I don't know. I don't know. Let's try split in drag. Going man here. Second down. Three wide outs to the right side. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. It's now how many times have we seen false starts due to my fake snaps? Not one all season. Now we've had two today. Somebody explain that to me. All of a sudden we're getting false starts. It's just that momentum meter. I have a feeling it really affects things now. I've defended it all season. Johnson steps back to pass. 
Get something with the tight end. Third and nine. Might as well go deep comeback. Nothing else is working. Going zone. Thank you. Finally, a, we finally got past midfield. First time all day. Let's, let's run the ball. Going zone. This ain't going to work. I can already tell you it's not going to. Pick up four. First and five. Let's try slam. I think we're still in the middle of the field. Going man. We'll go to the left. Just nothing there. Second and three. Let's try this counterplay. Going zone. And they're going. Didn't get it. Did he? 30 inches, of course I didn't get it. I have no faith in this whatsoever. Let's just get down. He's tired. All right, let's go back. Let's do deep outs. Going man. They're doing that. Finally got little something going, but it's too late. Wish we had this an hour ago. Uh, let's try scissors in. Going man here. Get a touchdown. Nope, not going to get in there. Are we going to score? We may actually score a point today. Oh, let's extra point, two point conversion. None that really matters. We could try an onside kick. I'm I'm shocked we got on the scoreboard <laughs> this late, and they may have their second string in there. I didn't even check. They may have the second string in there. And dang it, I gotta call a timeout. I, did, I picked the wrong play. I have no clue. This will. Somebody get it. And we ended up getting it. <laughs> Woo! Oh, you got to love it. All right, let's go. We'll go back to deep bounce. They're going man. Can he make a play? Where was this at earlier? I, I, we got to go back and well, we'll, we'll check it here. They got their second string in there, don't they? Yeah, they got their second string in there. That's why we're doing well. That's why we're playing good all of a sudden. And just... Kick another extra point. 
I was fixing them. I was wondering why all of a sudden we're just playing so well. And that's because they had the second string. That's the first time I've had the opposing team put their second string in there. That's how bad it's been today. Go back to the onside kick. Middle Tennessee State lines up for an onside kick. I think I kicked it too hard. Here goes. All right, let's just get this next minute and a half over with so I can leave and figure out what to do after this. I want to beat this traffic out of here. What are you talking about? You take a limo. I'm not touching your car. That takes bad luck. I'm keeping my first string in there. I'm going to make him pay. Of course, I mean, it's... This is a video game. It's not like they're actually feeling the effect here, but back up again a solid six yards against my first string. We'll go crash gold. The Rockets come out showing three wide. Don't you love that glitch? <laughs> Pick up a first down there. I mean, their backups are getting first downs on us. What does that tell you? Back to a one high. We've got our Coca-Cola players of the game. Very well played game by these gentlemen. The Rockets line up with four wideouts. So you all can draw your own conclusions from this game. I don't know what to, I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. It's a lot of conflicting things. Conflicting thoughts on it. And I hate dealing with sliders. It's just so boring to me. Trying to get it just right. It, it drives me nuts. It's not my thing. I don't enjoy it. It takes the fun out of these games when you're trying to make a game work for you. You should never have to bother with that. I mean, that's why one of the reasons why 06 has always been one of my favorites. You just don't have to fool with sliders much. It's just kind of ready to go, ready to play. Going zone here. Middle Tennessee State lines up with three receivers. Look at this throw. Look how great this throw is. He's sitting there. Spot on accuracy right there. Let me tell you. Number 85 was the intended target. That'll make it second down. Doo, 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 doo. What can we call? Let's do a deep ball. Let's do seamers. Second and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. We'll throw another interception here. The Blue Raiders changing their play at the line. Johnson drops back. He looks going deep. And Told you. It just, yeah, it is what it is. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Let's check out some stats. This is going to get really bad. They still ended up with 307. At least their offense played well. I'm, I'm happy they they done that. What was most disappointing is, for whatever reason, our offense just could not do nothing today. Ended up having four turnovers, like, ended up having, there's a lot of turnovers today in general. Good to see their third down do a little bit better than what we've seen in this game. I'm not, there's, there's no point looking at the offensives. I mean, I can look at the individual. But Johnson, 13 to 25, four interceptions, just awful. Okay, well, I don't know what to think about at this point. I don't know if my next video should be the off-season video and we can... I don't know. I'll give us some thought. I'm sure somebody will have an opinion or two on that. I'll come up with something. So, come on back. I have no clue what my next video will be. It'll either be a, the next video for Hawaii or it'll be the off-season video for this. I don't know. We'll figure it out. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.